Let's start off with some of the growth forecasts that we've been seeing coming through. It seems some say over 6%. We had the IMF, though, saying that uh, we should be seeing growth in Nigeria hitting 7%. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think um, uh, various institutions have been revising the growth forecast um, um, for Africa and other emerging uh, markets. I think the recovery in the emerging markets generally has been very strong, um, uh, surprisingly so, um, as they recover from the effects of the global financial crisis. Um, so it's expectant. I mean, in Nigeria, for instance, there's a huge um, infrastructural uh, development drive, and that is um, supposed to help booster um, growth development and also create jobs. Mm. Well, it's great news that the IMF is forecasting 7% growth because initially it was talking about 6% growth. This also comes in the light of the fact that we saw acting president Goodluck Jonathan signing in the 4.6 trillion Naira 2010 budget. Uh, we know investors, of course, were digesting all of this information, but how much of it had actually been priced in? Um, I think uh, for some time people expected that the budget will be signed on time. Um, you have to recall that I mean we're going into an election year, uh, so the government is keen on creating the right impression. And so you know, harmonising the budget uh, with the National Assembly was a top priority. And I think good luck, uh, Jonathan, the pre acting president, knowing that he has a very short period of time, is keen to I mean um, get going and you know, kick-starting the economy. So implementing the budget is also a main issue. Uh, traditionally, that's where we uh, tend to falter. Uh, you sign the budget, but then you find out that the ministry, departmental and agencies um, do not implement uh, fully at the year end. I think uh, things should be different this year as uh, the government tries to make an impact, especially as we go into an election year. Well, it's incredible Next because ex expenditure is, of course, 50% uh, higher than before. A budget deficit forecast to hit around 5% of GDP. We've got this new uh, bill signed into law as well, the oil industry bill, of course, giving uh, domestic firms uh, more clout and, of course, awarding of oil blocks. And we know that foreign companies will also have to start hiring more local people as well. So good news all around to try and spur the internal economy. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, the oil and gas local content bill, um, I think um, that is part of um, uh, trying to tackle uh, some of the Niger Delta issues as well. Um, so, you know, a lot of I mean, local um, oil servicing companies will welcome that development. It should, you know, broaden employment, it should uh, generate uh, training, upskilling and, you know, capacity uh, within the oil and gas um, industry. Uh, so it's a bit of like giving back and I think, um, you know, that is uh, Jerry News. Well, looking at Orlando Oil, um, yesterday up 5% uh, limit up, in fact, and this was after its rights issue was oversubscribed by 28%. Um, Orlando raised uh, 21.1 billion naira. So a lot of positivity coming through from these oil companies. Uh, would you be investing in the likes of Orlando Oil right now and other stocks? Um, actually, uh, we have been uh, quite bullish on Rwando um, um, since last year. We think um, they are well positioned and um, a lot of industry watchers uh, were concerned about, you know, the level of debt. Um, it seems sustainable, they're able to, you know, uh, grow the business and um, it's a diversified portfolio. Uh, so, I mean, we've been investing for some time, um, we're still watching it. Uh, people think generally for the petroleum uh, marketing sector that, I mean, the, um, I mean, the success of that industry will be hinged on, you know, um, deregulation. And there's been a lo lot of talk around that. That requires uh, political will and courage. And um, I think that has taken a bit of a back burner for some time now. But I think the issue will come to the fore again. Uh, the basic truth is that uh, the subsidy is huge and it diverts uh, money from you know, other productive capacity of the economy. So it has to be addressed. And I think the government is uh, keen on uh, shaking off the shackles um, from the subsidy. It's just that it's politically unpalatable. And you, as I mentioned as well, if you're going into an election year, you're quite careful about some of the policies um, you, I mean, you uh, prescribe uh, to the public. So we expect that um, you know, the likes of Ulhando should continue to do well. The capital that they've raised, I mean, should help their business in a positive sense. It should help them, you know, try to substitute their short-term uh, loans um, and just, uh, you know, reconstitute their old debt structure. But I think the company is well positioned uh, to do well in the short and medium term. 
Also looking at Sky Bank, we're turning our attention now to the banking sector. Sky Bank posting a 90% drop in pre-tax profit to 2.15 billion naira. Also proposing a 5 cobo dividend per share. Uh, your view on the overall banking sector and where Sky Bank fit, fits into the overall context? I think um, Sky Bank, um, as a middle-tier bank, um, you would expect, generally speaking, all the banks take, I mean, took huge hits uh, last year because of the provisioning that was, I mean, um, instructed by the CBN. Um, so for the year-end results, um, analysts are not expecting, you know, great news. I think the more, fo I mean, the focus for us is really what's the first quarter going to look like? Um, how's the recovery going to affect, I mean, the books of the bank? Uh, generally speaking, we tend to favor uh, the large banks uh, that have huge distribution network. Um, so the likes of um, Zenith, the likes of uh, GT, uh, First Bank as well, we saw their um, results uh, come into the market which affected the sentiment of the market uh, for the week. Uh, their year-end results, as expected as well, um, was not very good, and the market, I mean, reacted negatively. But um, subsequently, they released their first quarter result, and that was quite encouraging, um, which confirms um, what we think that, I mean, I mean, the banking sector is on the part of profitability.